Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Lime. Today's day number 41, and uh, so I'm working some more in Adobe Animate CC. And um, <clears throat> for this uh, video, I'm going to show you how I'm using uh, HTML5 Canvas. So just go to File, New, and then you choose HTML5, HTML5 Canvas here, and you choose the width and height and the frame rate that you want. And uh, so I already have my canvas already made, and I already made some objects, uh, and I already made a text field. So one of the new things you could do in uh, Flash, not Flash, sorry, I wish Flash was still alive, you were awesome, uh, Adobe Animate, was that um, you can use WebKit fonts from Adobe's TypeKit. So uh, so I brought in this font, uh, for some reason it says it's Arial, I'm not quite sure why. Um, but that's okay. So I have that. I'm going to hit save again. Um, let's see what alt and shift work. Alt and shift works. So I'm going to alt and shift to move the text down. And I'm going to choose a different font from this list here. All right. So this is the font I thought I chose. So I'm hitting OK. Oh, you know what it is? Maybe you select the font and then you're supposed to drop it down from the drop down menu. So it's called Brandon Grotesque. Hit OK. Bam. So now I should go in here and um, see Brandon Grotesque. Let's see. Is there a webkin font? Yep. So the web fonts, I guess, at the top of the menu. That's not really easy to see. So Adobe, maybe you could either stick with the rest of them or put a notification saying, you know, web fonts at the top. So there we are up in the clouds. Uh, and then this one here is Arial. So, all right. So now I did that. So this will be a test out. I'm going to uh, do a test. The hot key for doing a test is Control Enter on Windows. Uh, it might be Command Enter or Command Return on Mac. So I made an index.html file, and I'm going to uh, put back some code I had in there before. In the uh, in the sample, you see how it's like a located to the left. I want it to be located in the middle and the center on whatever browser you look at it. So I'm going to upload this file. And I apologize that my voice is messed up. Uh, I'm still sick from uh, whatever I got a couple of a few days ago. Uh, but at least I'm not aching like mad. All right, so let's refresh. All right, so I refreshed it. Doesn't look like anything changed. Oh, I've uploaded the new JavaScript. So every time, <clears throat> so now you get two files when you uh, use HTML5 Canvas. You get your index, you get your HTML file, and you get a JavaScript file. And it's very strange to me that inside your JavaScript file is all of the data. Like that's awesome. But I feel like there's still something missing here. Okay, so the font is here. Uh, actually, no, the font didn't show. I don't know why. Let me look, see what's inside of this one. Oh, okay, so there is a script in here that's not in my index file for the web font. All right, so what I'm going to do is I will copy that. Uh, and pop it into my file. And then I will re upload. Bam. Refresh. Nope. Still didn't show up. So I must be missing something else. What am I missing? And it can't possibly be that um, I have this table code around it. I know it's old school table code, but you know what? Let's remove it. And if it shows up properly, then maybe that's the reason. Nope, that's not it. All right. So then we have one more thing we're going to do. We're just going to upload the up the cloud.html that it produced. And 
let me just get that. I could type this myself easily, but copy and paste also works. So apparently the web font still not displaying. Was there instructions in here? The web fonts will not be loaded properly when this file is used anywhere else. Oh, this HTML file is meant for preview only. Oh, use the HTML file generated by the file publish option for final deployment. Really? Okay. Like, they could have made that a lot better. In Flash, you just have to hit Control Enter and pop out a Flash file. So in here, I have to click Publish. Okay, Publish. Oh. Uh, okay. All right. So let's uh, upload this one more time. And we'll upload the JS script. The Java script. Don't need to say it twice. All right. Wrong file. Refresh. Nope. Didn't work. All right, so where did we go wrong? Refresh this file. <clears throat> Let's upload the up in the clouds study HTML file one more time. All right. Let's publish it one more time. Or was it file publish? File publish. Bam. Okay. So reload. Yes. Upload. Put. Yes. Okay. Up in the clouds. There we go. There's our web font. So it needs to know the URL of where it's going to go. I guess. I guess there's a special script or something in there. It'd be nice if it just worked. So I'm going to copy all this code here and uh, paste it above my stuff here. It's nice to just be able to send people to a URL without .html and stuff on the end of it. So newsfornow.com slash up in the clouds if you'd like to see my live sample of uh, HTML5 Canvas exported from Adobe Animate CC. And uh, just so you know, <clears throat> this, these clouds were all made in Adobe Animate CC. So you can see they're all uh, separate parts. These are fills, or that's a fill. This is a line, border, whatever you want to call it. And then these are movie clips inside of the library. So I have a cloud and then another cloud. Made two clouds, two text fields. One with Arial, one with, what was the name of that font? Brandon Grotesque, the Typekit web font. Typekit web font. All right. Well, that's news for now, guys. Let me know what you think of this video. And if you thought it was all cool or interesting to you, please feel free to subscribe. All right. Speak to you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.